Happy New Year. Wasn't I wasn't expecting this to be my first video of the year, but it's I, I finished a playthrough of Near Automata, and I wanted to document my thoughts for it. So there will be spoilers, nothing too major. But if you've never played the game and you don't want it ruined for you, go ahead and stop now. Go play the game and then come back and watch this one later. So anyway, let's jump in. My first playthrough left me quite disappointed because I was expecting them to go a whole lot deeper with the story. Um, uh, loosely, just going to the story real quick, there's like these aliens that came down and it basically forced, you know, the humans to the moon and uh, these androids were fighting on humans' behalf. And when they mentioned aliens, there's this part in the game where you discover that the aliens have been dead for, I think, hundreds of years. I can't remember the exact time frame, but they've been dead for a while. So I was like, well, then what are we fighting for? Why are we still fighting kind of thing? And they kind of brought me back, because I know it's the same game company, it brought me back to Xenogears, which was literally, or is literally probably one of my favorite RPGs, or one of my favorite stories ever. And I was like, oh man, they're about to take me down this rabbit hole again. I was like, this is going to be great. But the game was really short, and then it didn't explain a lot of these things. Or the first playthrough, I should say, I just completed Route A. Apparently there's multiple stories. But this Route A, or the first playthrough, didn't expand on anything, and it was very, very short, you know, and there's like this rogue Yorha, or Yo was it Yorha, or Yorha, I can't remember, there's this rogue agent, and you don't know, you don't find anything about that in Route A, and I mean, part of it might be my fault, because I blazed through the game without doing any side quests, I was just, let me just go through it, so maybe that's why I missed what was going on with the rogue Yorha agent, um, but I was just expecting so much more from that story. I mean, like I said, there's this alien element with religious tones in Xenogears, and I was thinking they were doing the same thing with this, and it was going to be right up my alley. I was ready to be just totally sucked in, and the game was Route A, or the first playthrough, was just just so, so short. Um, and it was weird, too, because in the ending, they tried to like pull out some heartstrings, but because there was a, not a lot of character development, I felt almost nothing watching the ending. I was like, well, wait, what? why did... Why did why is 2B crying? What is going on here? I don't, you know, it's like, they didn't really bond that much, you know? Um, but maybe when I play through again, I mean, well, but speaking of the ending or the the last boss fight sequence, so I didn't realize I was in it, uh, you know, when I got towards the end of the game, uh, I was actually just trying to find the next save point so I could go to bed. And I didn't realize it was actually boss fight after boss fight after boss fight. And it was bad because I had mismanaged my resources terribly and there's no place to go where you can get extra healing or anything like that so i had used all my healing i had no other way to you know go through these series of boss fights and since i didn't have that and i had, I had to rely on the pod to basically range fight every last boss fight and it it was annoying because then at 1.2 with i think two of the last boss fights i found this glitch where i could just keep hitting with the missiles these like rockets for the pod and it was just glitching. He would stay there and take it. So it turned what would probably otherwise would have been an epic battle, last boss battle, into a frustratingly lame one. Like it was just so boring. So when I realized that, I was like, oh, this is the last boss. And then I just beat the game. It was over. And I was like, or the first playthrough. It was like, man, dang it. You know, I was, just, it was really, I was disappointed with the first playthrough. So, but, but I am still excited to get the full experience, as I said, at the end of the first playthrough. So, I will be back to update this as I continue each play as I beat each playthrough and we'll see what happens. But my initial my initial feeling was um, disappoint disappointment. So hopefully they, they it turns around and gets really awesome. And hopefully they explain more things. What I'm really what I'm really looking for is more story. Like lots of amazing connection with what happened with the aliens, what's going on. Uh, I really hope they get deeper there. I'm 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 in, I'm in for a big one. I'm in for a big one and hopefully they don't disappoint. So until next time.